Hey, what's happening, guys? Hope you're having a great day. I know that I sure am. And we've got something really cool to check out today. This was sent to us to play around with, only on loan, from a good friend of the channel, Mr. Jonathan Grady. Now, if you guys have been watching the videos, and I hope you have, you know that I'm just getting into amateur radio, also known as, you know, ham radio. And I showed you um, that little two meter mobile unit I have, and I'll show you uh, the handy talkie. Well, this is going to take the amateur radio universe and combine it with Arduino. It's the ham shield. And we're going to check this bad boy out here and see if we can get it going. So, inside the box, we have a little uh, getting to know you sheet and it gives us a link of where we can go for more information about this. There is a power supply, uh, 9 volt, 1 amp, some header pins, and a little SMA connector. Telescoping microphone, microphone, telescoping antenna, flexible, very nice. And finally, the ham shield itself. If I can get it out of the bag. Okay, let's have a closer look. Some basic information. It's Arduino compatible and it is stackable, which would be really good because you could use it with the uh, TFT LCD. Oh, so many possibilities. Uh, it's going to use I2, I squared C pins, also uses GPIO, PWM, and the ADC. Uh, frequency range 134 to 174 megahertz. 200 to 260 megahertz and 400 to 520 megahertz so it's a vhf uhf transceiver covering the two meter 1.25 meter and 70 centimeter bands at a half a watt and it's based on the uh, system on a chip which is the actus ati or no at 1846s it even has the sub-audible modes such as CTCSS and CDCSS, which uh, some of your repeaters are going to require. So let's zoom in here and take a really nice tight look at this bad boy. Well, I guess we are zoomed in all the way. So right here is that system on a chip, that Actus chip. We got some transistors, we got an inductor, we got some big capacitors, our clock. This is our antenna connector, a reset pin, a headphone adapter. Here are some other header pins for mic, right, left, and ground. And if we flip this guy over here, we can get a better look at the pins we're using. This, are, this is basic, you know, your Arduino Uno analog in, then our power pins and then our GPIO pins over here. So, very cool. This basically allows you to build your own handy talkie. And, you know, the handy talkies are very cool, but you know, you're, you're kind of limited by what the features are. I mean, there, believe me, there's a crap load of features in here, but to access them, Channel mode. You know, you have to go through a whole bunch of menus like that. With this, you'll be able to put everything on a touch screen or even control it from the serial interface if you want. And I know you're saying, well, why would you want to do this when you can just buy that $20 Baofeng radio and have the same functionality? Well, because this is going to allow you to get into digital modes, packet radio, uh, RTTY, PSK31, all, all of these digital modes that allow you to not only use voice, but to use data as well. So, I mean, I think, I think that's pretty cool. And I think our next step to get started is to put some header pins on here. Don't you? All right, then we agree. Let's do it. So we're ready to solder. You want to make sure that this fits your Arduino perfectly. Put your header pins in an Arduino. 
then all you got to do is sit that bad boy down on there like that and it is going to fit perfectly I guarantee it now we get ourselves a nice clean iron and I will show you just how easy it is to solder stuff like this just put a little teeny bit of solder on the end of the iron that just helps with thermal transfer And just come right down the line. See how easy? All right, I'm going to solder the rest of them up. You don't have to watch. Okay, all of our GPIO pins are soldered up there. Looks pretty good. Next, we need the SMA antenna connector. So how are we going to do that one? Let's get it out of its baggie. Okay, so our center conductor is our signal. And all the other outer pins are just the ground. Well, just the ground are the other half of the antenna. So, this shouldn't be too hard. What I'm going to do is I'm going to solder on one of them, and then we'll straighten everything out and get it into position. And we should be able to get it on there real nice and neat-like. All right, this is pretty heavy-duty stuff, so... We'll find out if my iron is up to the task. I think it is. A little bit of thermal transfer solder there. All right, that's slipping around a little bit. I'm going to have to secure it. Be right back. All right, here's a little trick they don't usually tell you about in electrical engineering school. Just a teeny drop of super glue on the edge of that PCB we'll let that dry for a moment and well you can't even see it can you we'll let that dry for a moment and we'll be ready to rock and roll All right, this is probably going to take some serious heat. Hmm. Not yet. I'll be back when it's ready. Okay, so if we come to uh, www.hamshield.com slash start, it'll bring us over to this Instructables page. Getting started with Hamshield. Tell you a little bit about how to solder it up, which we just did. And then what we're interested in is this section right here. The Hamshield Libraries. Just click on that and it will download them as a zip file. No problem. Okay, once we have the libraries installed, and if you're not sure how to do that, check out my Arduino Basics playlist and there is a video teaching you how to install libraries. Once that's done, I opened up this example called FM Beacon. And we'll come down here and we'll show you what it does. So we're going to define the stuff for the radio, and we're going to include the ham shield, blah, blah, blah. Set up all the pins. It's going to send out a little Morse code here. 
and we're going to transmit on this UHF frequency 446.000 and it's just going to transmit a little Morse code beacon all we need to do now is upload it and we're ready to roll all right I've got the, the uh, radio tuned to 446.000 and we've uploaded the code into the ham shield now I'm only going to do this for a couple of seconds because I really shouldn't be doing it at all. It'll take a few seconds to go through its upload procedure here. And we should start hearing the Morse code. Here we go. Now, if I unplug the Arduino, it still transmits. So that tells us the Arduino is only sending commands to the ham shield, which is the radio in and of itself. So that's pretty cool. I enjoyed this. Thank you, Jonathan, for uh, loaning me your ham shield. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all of my patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.